Good morning. Welcome to Market Mashup, our weekly recap of financial markets and what we have on store for this upcoming week that might impact your stock and bond portfolios. I'm Scott Naska, president of Generation Capital Management. Good week last week across the board with stocks. The Dow Jones was up 5.1%, S&P 500 up 5.9%, and NASDAQ up 6.6%. So major rebound to start the month of November as investor appetite for stocks came back very, very strongly. Positive indicator as we head into the last two months of 2023. On the bond front, we have the two-year at 4.83%, the 10-year at 4.55%. So we have a 28 basis point inversion that has widened a little bit this past week. Previously, we saw major moves higher in the longer end of the market, especially the 10-year side, but that did retrace and went down a lot, which caused the inversion to widen a little bit. And also was one of the main reasons that stocks moved up so much is there wasn't as much pressure on the bond side, especially in the longer end of the curve. We're looking at some commodity numbers, we have oil at $80.92 and gold at 1998. So we've seen a little retracement or back off in the price of oil. Gold remains pretty high levels this year. So just keep an eye on those two figures uh, as we go forward. Good inflation indicator for both of those. With data front this week, we have initial jobless games coming out on Thursday, consumer sentiment on Friday. Fed Chair Powell will be speaking a few times this week, as well as other Fed governors. Just pay attention to see what they're talking about. If anything's changed in the last few weeks since they had their monthly meeting that came out where they did not decide to do any interest rate changes. So you just want to see if there's any nuggets of information that come out that might not have been spoken. We can look forward to seeing exactly how that might progress for the end of the year. We also have about 10% of the S&P 500 companies reporting their third quarter earnings this week as well. And you just want to see any signs of strength in the consumer side and if they provide any outlooks for fourth quarter and into 2024. Just see if we can read any news from those coming out. We did have a lot of the big tech companies come out in the last week or two. So mixed messages across the board, but uh, you know the market's taking it in in stride. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Our website, www.g encapmgmt.com. Tim's ready to answer any questions that you might have. Give your portfolios, uh, you know, basically a second opinion, another look, and see if your allocations are aligned with your risk tolerances and goals and objectives. We do have some financial planning from John's top tips on our website that might spur some actions that you need to do before the end of the year. Like I said, we only have a couple more months before we bring out 2023. So if there's anything that you have to do before the end of the year, John, he has pointed some of those out in his more recent top tips. Like I said, if you have any questions, our team's ready to help out any way we can. Once again, my name is Scott Naska, president of Generation Capital Management, and this is Market Mashup. Have a great week, everyone.